our team uh, in the front office, they, they did a heck of a job. Uh, we've been at it for the last three days, and especially today, just uh, getting in really early, just with other news that had gone on, and seeing how we could potentially capitalize. I mean, they, they've done a great job. So, uh, great day. Had fun doing it, and uh, we're really excited about the outcome. Chris, John is still here. I know he's been somebody that's consistently been in trade rumors. Was it something that just didn't materialize that worked for you guys, or you guys just wanted to make sure to keep them? Well, our focus is on what was before us, and with John, John's a valuable player, and uh, yeah, a guy who's always in, in the media, who always handles himself with unbelievable grace and professionalism, um, like that's valuable for us, and that's something that we, that we adore at the end of the day. And so for him and his team to come out today with all that noise, it's good. When you when you see the guys that sorry you're over here oh, yeah. when you see the guys sorry right when you see the guys that you did get in Sadiq and Garrison I know Bruno's been here before but what did you see um, individually in each of those three guys? Yeah, so starting a little more broad, just as as we're defining what it means to be a hawk, guys that are competitive, mm -hmm. guys that bring us versatility, guys who love the game, who work hard. Um, we found that you know in, in all those guys, and they all have their different. Uh, roles and things that do make them special individually. Everyone's familiar with Bruno, he's been here, the high energy big. Uh, Garrison Matthews, the intensity, the shooting, the flexibility that we can get just in a way we, we're trying to play more of in that point five and being able to move the ball. And then with Sadiq Bey, right, young guy who's up and coming and gives us a lot of that depth at the wing uh, with the versatility that he is, played three, the four, four, three, can guard multiple positions, can shoot the ball. Uh, and a worker, and so that's really a key to it, right? It gives us a lot of depth in what we're doing, and for our coaches, that's a lot of flexibility going into the last part of the season to see, like, hey, whatever's working, like, let's win ball games and do that. Yeah, how much excitement does that give you? Like, this is going to be the team now for the next twenty-six games of the regular season, and then and then postseason moving forward. Yeah, it's it's exciting. Like, this is what we got. This is why something we feel uh, for our group. Um, gives us some of that, again, flexibility to do a lot of different things and for our coaches to get creative uh, with whatever is shown our way and hopefully more and more injecting into the locker room good quality character guys. Um, obviously with all of the depth, how do you anticipate you know, maybe the rotation changing a little bit with maybe the starters not necessarily having to play as many minutes? Yeah, I mean, that's a tough question, but you know, it's one that's more so for coach. Um, from the players and we talk through some things and at the end of the day it's up to him to, to make rotations. Thank you. Uh, you're one of the several teams that gave up a lot of second round picks. Uh, just overall do you think there's kind of been a shift among teams about how much those picks are valued? Uh, there could be. Um, it's still, <laughs> still a lot of value to give up, and that's the value that we saw in, in those guys, and we understood what we had to do in order to make that work. Uh, for us to maintain some financial flexibility to the future and still equip our team with guys that we really like and still maintain core pieces was really important to us. Yeah, as much as you can share, when did you really engage Detroit on Bay for the first time? How much time did it really take for, obviously it was a complicated trade, how much time did that take to kind of come together? Yeah, well, we've been monitoring him for a while. And so just early engagements with, with Detroit, you know, first is just like, hey, checking in, what's going on, what some moves you might do. Uh, and then as you get closer to the deadline, you know, heated up, got closer and closer. Didn't get something done directly done, didn't get anything done directly with them, uh, but was able to still get Sadiq through another mechanism through Golden State. Just as a follow up on, on him, he had a great rookie year and he's been kind of screwed through the last couple. Do you, do you see him as a player? Do you get back to playing the way he did? You're game? talking about Sadiq? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, we do. Still, still with the age, uh, assuming because you said streakiness, just with the shooting, but you bank on the free throw, you bank on the work, uh, and you also bank on just the guy that can use a new environment and a new way of doing things. So that's something that we feel like we can get from here. You mentioned Ben kind of being an option at the three and the four. Did you see him as a small ball four option as well? I just wanted to make sure that I've heard that right. Yeah, you did. No, just the way in which we see a lot of the NBA playing now, uh, it gives that roster versatility and flexibility for both those guys, right? You pair them with, uh, with Hunt, 
uh, at the same time, and that switchability has been something that we hope to see more of. Any last questions for? All right. Thank you. Thank you.